There's a lot of full circle moments in this vlog, I feel like. I'm going to Bitterroot right now. So, I had about a week off to just focus on editing content again. And today, tomorrow, I'll be going back into Pasta Bar. I'm going back because I liked how it was a small team and I feel like I learned a lot and I still think there's a lot more I can learn from Pasta Bar. All right, we're back here again. So Chef, do you want it like really fine? Or what do you, yeah. do you want to look at, do you want it finer than this? No, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, it's just going to get folded into this. Like, How much time to roll out a lot of the new stuff this weekend? We're pretty fucking Oh, even though we're coming, that's... Rock, three fingers-ish. So, what I do... Was that golf team? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The number one golf team. How about golf team? Okay. Do I look tired? Do I look tired? <laughs> I mean, how how you doing, dude? I'm not tired. <laughs> Just filling this up with a shit ton of ice. Yeah. You're gonna sit up to 25 seconds. You're gonna do it uh -huh. two to three times. Yeah. This does. You take out all the air bubbles, right? Oh, sure. Make it crispier. Yeah. Last longer and turn it like kind of loosen. Think of bait like spinach. Or the things that you have to blanch before yeah. making it pure. Yeah. When I popped the duck liver mousse and I popped the logo. Yeah, it was bad. Put it up here. Right. Keep it wet. Very nice. For sure is. Perfect little squares. Yeah. If it's too small and you crash it, you do this. And then that goes for the same thing for shiso. Yeah. Square the bottom and then the top. I'm not gonna get that. So speak. Okay, top, bottom, top. Bottom and top. And then the sides. Okay. Same thing. This one you'll get a lot more. And yeah. so this two. Five. Six. Ten seven five three. Yeah, ten set.
so that we don't have to go. Okay, so it's gonna be later in this. Um, make sure the door is white, right? Yeah. And then spread them out like that. Boom, boom, boom. So you want to cut it on the other side. Do you push or do you like go forward? Like push down? Yes. Yeah, forward? Yeah. Okay. So what the water does is that it binds the dough together. It looks like candy. And you spread it out. And then you expand it. I feel like you gotta sprinkle first. Yeah. Keep the oven open for a second. you want to you don't hold it like this anymore you hold it over here right and then you put it on your thumb and then you hold it like that right yeah yeah that holds like that put it through put your hand underneath so you can catch it yeah hold it so yeah. like here yeah Did you say Grace? Did you say Grace before eating? 258, Chef. Lord, I hope everyone comes early tonight. <laughs> Five seconds. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, so just keep that in mind. Like next, next week is a fucking sprint. We are at 32 almost every single day. Next week. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns? You guys ready to go? Yeah. Ready to go? Let's go. All right, let's get it. Let's go.
You know what it is, baby. <laughs> Fuck oh, yeah. This fucking shit right here? I'll let you know Gil never polishes that hard unless it's on camera. <laughs> and that's why I'm doing it. So, it's 4K, so they can see my sweat. <laughs> and then when he that asks me, are you tongue. tired? <laughs> I'm fucking juice! <laughs> You're grabbing one out of that. Dude. This is family meal. <laughs> this is what Michelin star people eat. Yeah, fucking cheeks! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I have that? Wait till I see you. Oh, it's a half-shaved shit. Um, yeah, bring a leather knife. You don't look tired. Because my man is not tired. Yeah, I want you to get more onto like bigger projects. Yeah. Bigger projects doesn't oh, yeah. also necessarily. No, it's a white door. Don't fucking suck my ass. <laughs> Joey! Crispy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm not wasting. Ran out of battery while I was there, and um, yeah, I'm home now. It's like 2:15. I got to take a goodie back home. Yeah, Pasavar, you have to wear. I have to wear a white shirt. If I had it my way. I'd wear a black shirt. But whatever. Look at this. Look how pretty this pasta is, dude. This is the mezzaluna that's served with their duck breast. I got to like go through a lot more pasta this time, which I was really happy about. I have so many pasta ideas. I, I have a lot of fun at Pasta Bar. I really like the guys there. They all are very um, supportive. So, good night. Day two, pasta bar. <laughs> I have nothing else to say, just day two, all right. There's no sleepy boys in here, baby. CCBB? <laughs> Forever. These two fingers are going to be out, right? And then when I'm doing this, right? This is just rocking this back. You gotta find that spot that's like comfortable for you to rock. Yeah. yeah. See, that's on the that. That's what you want. Yeah. Yeah. I need a light knife. See, that's all the thick you got. That's what you want. Yeah. Yeah. I need a light knife. I need a light knife for this, yeah. See how fast we're going? Okay, so much Yeah, so much better. You feel like you have more control with it? Yeah. Yeah. Eight-minute smoke, trap. So these are 
tartlets. The tart dough is made with uh, thyme leaves in it. And then just simply roasted some beets, punched them into circles, and then very meticulously trying to make them look like a rose. Just took some beet juice, uh, reduced it with some sugar and some Banyol's vinegar. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with I want to do the, the tart shells are a little too tall for my liking. So far, I definitely, I'm, I'm happy Are you going to bring this to us? I am, yeah. If I was you, I would. Yeah. <laughs> what were you slicing? I was slicing an apple, but I was slicing it like this. Instead of pulling it on top, yeah. and then I would shh. Boy. I got my What you make? Tiramisu. It's so pretty. Uh huh. That's my favorite one. Verification. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, a little late, but how's everyone feeling? Good. Yeah. Good. Doing good. End of the week. Yeah. My last service with you guys. Um, Before we get started, I just definitely wanted to thank everyone here. You've all been really, really awesome. Want to do you all justice by going back to Austin and just doing what you guys do here. Hopefully, getting to a point where we get a little friendly, competitive, and like, oh shit, look, look what they're doing in Austin, and I can easily just go there and be like, hey man, they're crushing it in LA. We got to fucking step it up. You guys have a Michelin star, and it's important for us to you know help you guys retain that because if someone from Michelin just happened to go into Austin they're like hmm I don't know about this like it, it's important for us to hold up our end of the bargain for you guys as well so try and do you guys proud but Amen. thank you sir. anyway yes, sir. into tonight's service uh 18 on the books uh we got a full block on the first is our nut allergy and bell pepper allergy cool uh next two top is also at six o'clock Last night's service was fucking awesome. And then the night before that was just awesome. I feel like more often than not, the services have just been a nice buzz and just a lot of good communication, a lot of teamwork and the new menu changes you guys have been coming up with, executing, also amazing. Um, keep going, always, can always be better. You're always gonna put something up and there's always gonna be notes on it. That doesn't mean you fucked it up, that just means we want to make it great. I always say all the time, what's the difference between good and great food? That's it. Yeah. It literally comes down to like that microscopic level of four extra grains of salt and two extra dashes of lemon. Obviously, it's not always salt and lemon. The metaphor exists. It's little tiny things that separate you from being good and great. You came in, you like treated the restaurant like it was your own. Yeah. And that's really, really cool. I forget who I heard say it, but it was a chef talking about when he worked at the French Laundry and he saw like a cook on his break, like going around like the out, the exterior of the restaurant, like picking up cigarette butts. And he's like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm treating it like mine because one day it will be mine. And I want to start these habits. If you're not treating it like yours, then it'll never be yours. Yeah. You'll never move up that ladder. Let's do it. Good yeah. team, good teachers. Oh, yeah. Let's get it tonight. Get ready to go? Let's go! Wait, so what are we, what did you normally put before? Okay. Yeah, like that. It's pretty Nice. Let's do the other side. So 16 by 20 or Yes, you do. That's the thing. You do. Yes. You do. Yes. Everybody knows it. Oh, I can eat there. <laughs> you want? I can eat the counter. Can you eat that? Yeah. What is this? Hey, hey, this is Jeff. Please tell him it's dancer. 
Yo. 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 It's not. It's not. It's not. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you do that to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Way better than the one I have. It's an early night. Got some loot. Honestly, the only reason is because it's Sunday, and so they have product that I can't, um, that won't stay good until when they reopen on Wednesday. This Sunset, which is on their tasting menu. Chen Blanc, which is paired with their, I want to say it's the Crudo. This is their sourdough pastas, three pastas. We have their Mezzaluna. This is their Dopio, Dopio Raviolo, which is like a double filled um, ravioli. And then this is their Garganale, which is like the traditional penne. Chef Khan's uh, gift, which he refused to be called chef, but Khan's gift to me. It was really nice. And this one is much easier, much lighter, and I don't shake as much because it's shorter. Both of these are uh, JB Prince. I got my plate back from Bitterroot. Okay, this is intentional, okay? <laughs> this little thing was intentional to like pick up the plate, or the, I think it's called kiln. It loses about 10 to 20% of its mass. So it used to look bigger. And I was really surprised by how kind of small it turned out, but my first piece of pottery. So, nice.